Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I am going to be doing a weekly setup in my PR planner, which is a DIY half letter or junior size planner using inserts available to Scrap Craftastic patron elites. The discs are tool discs, and the cover is a tool cover. The pen case, which I'm considering taking off, removing, is from Walmart. So I have a dry erase marker in here that I was using on my little DIY dry erase board. Um, but I haven't really been using it. I probably need to, we'll see how it goes. But I, I'm finding that the pin case is getting in my way. Anywho, before we get into the weekly setup, I had this idea. Don't know if it's gonna work. I was watching a plan with me and the kit was foiled and beautiful and I just can't afford to spend that kind of money on kits that I may not even use. Um, I'm thinking like they range from 15 to 20 dollars for a kit that's foiled and then there's shipping to consider so that can get pretty pricey. So I figured, well, maybe I can do some kind of overlay design, confetti, something like that. I found this pattern that you see here that looks really messy, but I found this pattern on Pixabay. It was in color. I converted it to black and I printed it on the laser printer. You can foil black toner, which comes from the laser printer. Typically, I mean, there's other ways to get it, but the easiest way for me is to use the laser printer. So I am going to foil this. This is printed on vellum. I can use this as a tip in in my B6 Stalogy or any of my planners. So I wanted to test it on the vellum and I know this works, but I just kind of wanted to see the confetti pattern. I'm not 100% happy with this confetti pattern, but before I spend money on a better digital confetti pattern, I want to see how this works. So I printed it on that. I also printed it. <laughs> this is supposed to act as an acetate. It's the laser version of the projector film, I think it's called. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. I got this on Amazon as well as the vellum. So I'm going to foil that. And I don't know if I'm gonna use all the same foil color, we'll see. Then this is what I really wanted to do. So I showed this kit yesterday. It is from Poly Plans. I know it looks a mess right now. <laughs> Hopefully this is gonna work. I really wanted a smaller confetti pattern and I guess I could make mine smaller. I don't know. It wasn't very editable. All I could really do was change the color. Anywho, I printed the confetti pattern on this printable that I had already print and cut. So it's already cut. I just wanted to see if I would be able to add the foil. And I took the sticky part of a sticky note. I didn't want to use washi tape because I didn't know how uh, it would react to the heat of the laser printer. So I used a piece of sticky note to cover the face. So that's what that is. I did it on this sheet. I did, I thought this one would probably be the one that would come out the best since it has the washi strips on it. And I think the foil will look really good on this sheet. I know it doesn't look like much now. And then this with the deco and a few of the larger stickers. I did the same thing on this doll. I put a piece of, um, sticky note the sticky part of the sticky note over her face so that it wouldn't print on her face okay so i am going to go ahead and foil these i have this hollow foil here and i think this is the one that ripples which i don't really care for that yeah it has like a ripple look to it but i think that since i'm using it on a sheet like this that it might not make too big of a difference because each piece is individual and it won't all be lumped together 
and I should probably use a gold foil for this since the accents in this are gold. Um, let's do that. Let's, let's do what makes more sense. I can use the hollow foil on the vellum or the acetate. The only thing is I don't have a shiny, shiny gold foil. I just have this like champagne gold, but I think it'll be fine. I need to use it more anyway. So let's just cut off a piece. I haven't figured out the best way to cut the foil yet. Um, so. And then I don't need to cover the whole thing because I don't necessarily need the edges, but I could cover the whole thing and then use those edges for something else. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just gonna cut this little piece off. I feel like I'm fumbling today. Okay. So this goes on top of it, foil side up. And I guess you could tape it down. I'm going to not. I'm just going to run it through just the way it is. I could use a carrier sheet, which would just be another piece of paper. I would opt for a thin piece of paper to sandwich this with and maybe even the back depending on how your cut did. My cut wasn't a very good cut, but I'm just gonna go for it just like this. I'm just gonna put it in here naked and see what happens. Let's move these aside. And what happens is the toner, uh, a laser printer uses the toner and heat to print on your paper or whatever you're printing on. The same thing happens when you put the foil on it. The foil reacts to the hot toner on your sticker paper, your acetate, your vellum, your paper, whatever you're using. The foil reacts to that toner and attaches to it. The heat of running it through the laminator reactivates that toner so that the foil will stick to it. And that's how it works. There is a machine specifically designed for foiling. I think it's called the Mink. But to me, basically it's a laminator. So I just use my laminator. Ooh, that looks nice. Now, like I said, it looks a little overkill on the paper. That looks extreme. But if I, I did see a smaller pattern that I would be interested in purchasing. And then that way I can have foiled stickers. Okay. Let's make sure the stickers are going to still work. Now that we've done this. Now this sheet didn't cut very well. It kind of cut all the way through. But yep, that's what that looks like. And I know it's not perfect, like maybe I should have covered up some of these words so that the giant pieces of foil didn't cover that up. But for the most part, I like the way it came out. So the next time I would probably put little sticky notes over the actual words to keep it from adding foil on those. All right, let's do the next one. Let's do this one. That should be interesting. Let's see if I can get a better cut this time. Cut another one. Trim 
the height. And these little pieces that I'm trimming off, I can use them for smaller projects where I just use glue. And I've shown how to do that in other videos. I'll try to link to it in the iCard up above. So I'm gonna run this one through. Just make sure it's lined up good and flat. Run that through and then do the other page while that's processing. Get this one ready. I got it. I cut that a little big, but I'm gonna leave it, I think. Yeah. desk space. Let's get this one ready. Let's take that one out and get this one going. Let's go ahead and cut these two before we do the reveal. Let's make sure I'm on the right side. These are a little trickier because I want to do the whole thing and I may not trim off the bottom. Whatever you decide to do this with, make sure that it is heat resistant. Um, not everything can take the heat. So I'm just gonna trim off this excess. And hopefully I can find a use for these pieces. So I cut this one way too big. All right. Let's feed this one through. Mm, I think this edge might be better to go first. While that's going, let's do the next one. Ooh, that's it for this row. I've had it for some years. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, it's not really enough. Okay, so because I'm piecing these together, I think I may need a carrier sheet. So I'm gonna get a piece of 20 pound paper or thin paper to run it through with. So hopefully this will hold it in place. I really don't wanna get tape involved in this. I'm going to do it like this with the carrier sheet. I'll also link to the reactive foil in the description box below. It is available on Amazon. I think I got mine from Joanne, but I guess I'll be ordering some more hollow foil from Amazon myself. So that is everything. Let's remove the laminator. So before we do these reveals, let's put them all back over here. So this is the first one that we did. Again, this isn't perfect, but it is an option. If like me, your budget does not include foil kits and you want some foil stickers or you want foil tip-ins or your own foil vellum, acetate like that. You can do it yourself. 
if you have a laser printer. So this is the next sheet from the sticker kit. It's upside down. Voila. So I, mean, I guess you really couldn't tell what it's going to look like until you remove the stickers and use them individually. I mean, it's okay, right? <laughs> I just need a better confetti pattern, I think, a, with a smaller dots or smaller confetti pieces. And not so dense. This one is quite dense. Now these washi strips, I think those will be great. Let's take one off so you can see what it looks like. See there? So those are nice. Again, this weekend came out cool. This one, it covered it up a little too much. So I would probably cover that. So I would cover pretty much anything that I didn't want the foil to cover. Okay, so this is the acetate and I already know that's gonna come out nice. Can you see it? So I can trim this down, put this in any of my planners. Works great. Then this, my carrier sheet. And let's take these off. This is the vellum. Again, it looks great. Turns out great. So if you're on a budget and you want to foil, that is an option. Okay, so let's use some of these stickers to do my weekly setup. I'm going to use those in conjunction, I think, with some stickers from Let's Get Planned, or I may even use them and focus on the monthly. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to be planning the 4th through the 10th. Again, the inserts are available to Scrapcraftastic Patron Elites. They come out usually around the 10th of the month for the following month. These are, I'm not sure what washi I'm going to use, if any. I don't think I want to use Doris. This is the one I was kind of focusing on. Oh, I got an empty in here. Take that out. I already used her. Don't think I want to use the donuts on this. Yeah, okay. So the this sheet is from Let's Get Planned. I think I might play around with this. Or should I put it up here? Okay, I'm gonna put it up here. I think I like that better. And then let's use this one on the other side. I think I'm going to use her. Oh, and I still have the Kell of a Plan stickers too. Yikes, on bikes, so much to choose from. I'm going to use this 4th of July sticker here. And then I think I'll also use this little banner from Polly Plans. I think I want to sprinkle the fireworks around, but I also need to do some more washi or something. Let's see what's going on with summer florals. Now that one looks nice. I think I'm going to use this. And I'm going to combine it with this. If I can get it off my fingers, let's combine it with this one. Let's move this over. This is Summer Florals by Kell of a Plan. So if I want it to open this way, 
then I need to put it on this side. Let's get some of that stick off. So then I'm going to fold it in half or as close to half as I can get. I'm going to put it on Tuesday. Try to line that up as straight as possible. And voila. Okay. So we got deco there. Then I'm going to put some more on here. Okay, I'm going to use this one. I hope I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. I think some flowers on this subject would be a huge improvement. And if I run them across the top, that would be great. And I got to remember to put the fireworks in too. Let's use one over here. Burnish that down. I might have to save that half or something else because I think that's enough with the florals up top. Let me see, how will this look at the bottom if I used it at the bottom? I think that would have probably been better in the box, but it's fine outside of the box. I think I want to use this weekend. Oops. Up here. And I do have my boxes. Let's see. So let's use a few of these. Everything that you see here that I'm flipping through is available to patrons and I think patron elites. Uh, the labels are available to patron elite and plus. I feel like I need another scallop box. Maybe I'll do one in red. Now let's try to incorporate a few of these fireworks. Let's put some of these down. Okay, so I'll put that there. I don't think I need fireworks anywhere else. I'll save these maybe for the monthly as well. Kind of looks naked up here. Let's try one of these. I'm going to put that there. Let's see what's in planner words. Let's try. Don't forget. Okay, so I think that is it. So that's going to open like that. Uh, I probably put that in the wrong space. Let's see if I can retrieve it. So that's kind of a thing with the journaling style stickers. That's what I'm calling these. You kind of have to think about where you put it. Because it's going to affect other things. Okay. Phew. So let's put it down here. Or maybe I should put it over here. And then that'll open like that. Yeah, I think that's going to be better. Let's put it over here. All right. Much better. I feel like it's naked at the top, top. Let's see. Don't I have some white stars from Simply Gilded? I do. Let's run a piece of that up there. I have two white stars. This isn't the same color foil, but I think that's okay. That doesn't add a lot, but it adds a little something. It's not so bare. Oh, God, I probably could have used those gold bows. Okay, let's pop this back in.
that is it. So we learned how to add a foil overlay to your printable stickers, acetate and vellum. And I used some of those stickers in this spread. I foiled the kit from Poly Plants. I used some of the stickers from Summer Florals from Kell of a Plan. I, and I used some florals and I used a doll and fireworks and the 4th of July sticker from Let's Get Planned and a little bit of washi tape from Simply Gilded. And that's pretty much it. The other items are available to Scrap Craftastic patrons. The link to my Patreon is in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you may enjoy these other videos. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.